Hey guys, this is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. It's been a while since the last time I posted. I took the opportunity because of the coronavirus that we all are facing around the world and decided to do some things that are beneficial to me and to my audience. I've been doing like six miles, get up in the morning, sometimes in the evening, depending on the weather, you know, and just exercise myself. It takes out, you know, some of the things that you have in your mind. You just want to relax your, your brain, relax everything. <laughs> Thirdly, I studied. I've been studying for my health and life insurance exam. And guess what? I finally passed my exam, so um, I will be helping, teaching others about how to get a health insurance, how to get your life insurance. Um, insurance is a very important thing for us to have. Um, coming from my experience, it's um, something that each family, no matter what position, economic position in which you are, it's good to have a life insurance especially with what's going on around the world today. So guys, I will be contacting you guys if you have a question, if you're looking to get health and life insurance, please do not hesitate to contact Debbie. The reason I decided to get into life and health insurance, it's because I know a lot of us do not have life insurance. And even if we do have life insurance, most of us have it through our jobs. And with the coronavirus and everything that is going on, people are losing their jobs. Everything goes with it. Your health insurance is gone. Your life insurance is gone. So I was just thinking to myself, I said, you know what? I think this is the right time for me to find a way on obtaining this insurance license a very good friend of mine called me and we were just talking and she's like debbie you know what i am doing life insurance and health insurance now so i asked her i said so what's the process and she said oh it's so easy that's what she said that it's so easy it's not but i was excited about it and i told her i am in and she's like okay so she sent me this um a, a link a welcome link and on that link, it welcomes you into um, the program. With this program, you have to pay a certain amount. But being an associate or being a member of that group, they give you a very good discount. So I registered. I did my um, studies. I studied for two months, guys. You know, when you're a mother, you're a, a, a wife, you're everything, you're running in and out. You just have so many other things to do. You have families to take care of. So it took me two months. And what I was doing, I was studying every other day. Like every two days, I studied for two hours. And when you study, the program gives you a way that you can, you read and you take a test. And if so long as you make up to 84, then you know you're ready. And once you're ready, then now you have to apply to take that test. There's so many areas. I took mine just like 15 minutes away from where I live. So all you do, you put your zip code and it tells you where you are going to take your exams. You register for your exams in, in the state that I am currently. It cost me $70 to register for the exams and the exams had two, two portions. So the first one was just a general um, exam questions. They ask you about annuity, they ask you about insurance for senior citizens, they ask you about uh, Medicaid, it, it talks about life insurance, it talks about stocks, it talks about accident, it talks about things for you to do to prevent yourself from mishaps. Oh my God, let me tell you guys the number of questions. It was 150 questions. And that's for two hours, 30 minutes. So the first time I took the exams, I passed the general exams, but the state exam, 
I missed it by one point. And guess what? I had to go back and retake the exam, which means you have to call back, you re um, registered, and to register, the days are like, it's, it's like weeks, weeks apart, because everybody, everybody is doing this. People are taking exams, different type of exams. So, and with the coronavirus, they make sure the examination center, they make sure they don't let a lot of people in. So I re-registered again, and instead of me doing the, 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 the board portion of the exams, I did just the one that I missed by one point. And I studied, I studied, for three good days before my exams and hey I had it I got it I got it I came out I was so happy I set up my exam time at 7 a.m. in the morning I didn't sleep all night by 6 15 I was out of the house by 6 20 no by 6 45 I was in there at the examination center and first I tell you no phone. The only thing you can come in with is your car keys, your ID, and one piece of identification. So I went there that morning. The first time, there was this lady sitting there. She's sitting at this hallway. And once you come in, the first thing she said, go straight to the bathroom and wash your hands. This is to show how serious they are. So you shouldn't be scared of going places now to take an exam because every company they're trying as much as possible to make sure that your health the area the environment it's COVID-19 free when you go in there so I went in washed my hands came and she said any fever any headache any coughing any salt truth and all those questions and I'm like no 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 my heart was just pounding I'm like you know what I just want to go in there and take this exam then now they take you to, into this exam room there are other people there for like um, medical exams there are other people for IT just different different you know state exams and you get there she comes to the computer and said put in your social security number you put in your social security number then um then they tell you start and you just start like that the numbers the questions that you you know you go towards those questions real fast the ones that you don't know um they give you a piece of paper so you use that piece of paper and your pencil and write down because that's what i was doing if i if i skip a question i write down the number um, if I have a doubt, I write down the number. So you go through all those, then you come back, check it again one more time. And listen, guys, my age, once your mind tells you that's it, that's the right answer, just go with it. Do not sit and be thinking, is this right? Is this right? Because that's a waste of time. So it was a very good experience. I'm so excited that I took the opportunity and I did that. After you pass your exams, the next process is for you to apply for your initial license. And with the initial license, you go to the website. Um, or first, you have to wait at least two days for your results to populate into the system that you're going to go in and apply for your initial license. So that's my journey. Um, of obtaining this license. I am so proud of myself. One day, one mother, oh no. I am so proud of myself. And to me, insurance, it's a very important thing, especially going through the death of my, my lovely daughter, Cynthia. And we all just need to get it. We should not just rely on what we have at our jobs. We shouldn't. Insurance is not for someone who is rich. Insurance is for you to help yourself, even though you're dead, but you're helping, or you pass away, or you become disabled, that you're not able to walk. There are just so many different type of insurance that can help you and also help your loved ones. I opened a store, an Etsy shop. At the Etsy shop, you're able to purchase T-shirts. If you are an HBCU family, we have t-shirts for you. We also have t-shirts going on with the election coming. I have t-shirts for Biden and Harris. I have cops, I have bag. The t-shirt I'm wearing today, it's called Autumn. Autumn is one day, one mother. That's my story. You can also find Autumn on my website. The website itself is called One Day, 
one mother. FC shop, it's so, it's, it's, I love it because all you do, you create your store, you advertise your store, um, and it's, it, it gives you this gratification when you look, you get up in the morning, you look on your phone, you look on your computer, you have a, a signal that you made a sale. So it's, it's those little things, you know, I'm just taking one step at a time, but I feel con content. I am happy that I used this time that it wasn't planned for us to stay home, for us to have all this limitation, what to do, where to go. Another site that I created, it's called Fabulous Collections. With Fabulous Collections, if you are a dog lover, a cat lover, you're able to purchase items for your pet. You're able to find car seats, raincoats for dogs, toys for your pets, bed for your pets, strollers for your pets, just different items. So check it out. Again, the website is called Fabulous collections and I said to myself just sitting at home using the computer we all have laptops we have desktops we have our phones so those are the things that I did and I'm keep on learning and um, so that's what I've been doing please do not hesitate to check out fabulous collections one day one mother and FC put some reviews down here let me know what you've been doing with the time that you have at home um, I know with kids, my daughter, she was supposed to be moving into to the school at Howard University, but now she's going to stay home. And I know most families, children, they're going through the same thing. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. This is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours.